Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. The songs that's about to be played, I do not own the copyright to the copy to the songs that's about that's about to be played. I don't own the rights or the copyrights to the songs that's about to be played. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Come into the room. Come into the room. We don't own the rights or the copyrights to the songs that's about to be played. We don't own the rights or the copyrights to the songs that's about to be played. Let's give God some glory today. Praise the Lord. The Lord is so faithful to us. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Come praise the Lord with me. Make sure you share this, like this, comment. Glory to God. Somebody need to hear this word today. Somebody need to hear this word. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Blizzard Tonya. Good, good morning, Tonya Blizzard. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And come into the room. Come into the room. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God bless you, Regina. God bless you. Yes, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is going to be glorified. We're going to listen to some music real quick. We're going to bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Probably like two songs. God bless you. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Bless his holy name. Let's bless the Lord. Make sure you share it. Make sure you share it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The Lord is going to be glorified. Good morning, Daquana. Good morning. Good morning, Daquana. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you. Glory to God. Thank you for sharing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The more shares, the better it is. People get to see it. Glory to God and get to hear it. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. Thank you. God is good. Hallelujah. Yes, somebody need to hear this to be set free, delivered. Yes, glory to God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Lord is faithful. Holly Grove Nip, how you doing? Glory to God. God bless you, family. God bless you and your family. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory. Bless Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all your prayers. Thank you. Glory to God. The much needed. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Make sure you share this. Make sure you share it. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. No, glory to God. Yes, 
Yes, glory to God. Hallelujah. Order my steps, Lord. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Order my tongue, yes, Lord. Guide my feet, oh, glory to God. Yes, Lord. Show us how to walk, oh Lord. Yes, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory. God bless you, my beautiful wife. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Order our steps. Order our steps. Order my steps. Personal relationship. Order my steps. Yes, Lord. Yes, have your way, Lord Jesus. Yes. Glory to God. Make sure you share it. Make sure you share it. Yes, Lord. Somebody need to hear this word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for upon this right ministry. Those are those, those are those that are on and all the other ministries and all the people that are watching. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We're going to the Lord after this song. Yes, Lord. Oh, blessings, blessings, PJ and Ace. God bless you. God bless you and your family. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. Yes. Blessings in favor. Yes, blessings in glory and honor. To you. Thank you, Jesus. To me. We just come to praise you. Yes. Forever and 
and ever, and ever, yes, and ever, yes. Oh, glory to God. Thank God for your two PJNAs. Thank you, glory to God. Yes. Blessings and glory. Hallelujah. I thank God for your PJNAs. Mother Bias, how you doing this morning? God oh, bless you, woman of God. Yes, Lord. Let's keep our eyes focused on the Lord. Keep our eyes focused on the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, don't look at the situation. Keep your eyes on the Lord. Yes, God will handle the situation. Yes, he's already handling it now. Yes. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. For me. For me. Sins and glory. And honor. They all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Forever. Forever and ever. Yes. Be done for me. Some of us raise our hands. Some of us clap our hands. Blessings and glory and honor. They all belong to you. Yeah. They all belong to you. Sing glory. Yes, and honor, they all belong to you. Blessings and glory, and honor, they all belong to you. Glory, they all, God bless you, Dr. Doreen Davis. God bless you, woman of God. Yes, Lord. In honor, they all belong to you. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. We praise you. We honor you. We honor you. We honor you. We honor you. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. However you bless them. Some of us bow down. Some of us lay down. Some of us stand up. Some of us sit down. Praise them, Lord. Praise them in the sanctuary. Yes. They all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, in me. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. We give God all praises and glory on today. God is good. He's not just good, but he's good all the time, and he's faithful. Not just faithful, but faithful all the time. Glory to God. We thank the Lord and we praise him and we magnify him and we glorify him because he has given us another day. Glory to God. And I always say if God has given us another day, it's another day and another opportunity to get it right with God and repent. Glory to God. So we thank God for his grace and his mercy. And we thank God for his for the power in the, in the, that he gives us to repent. Thank you, Lord. Oh, glory to God. Because uh, repentance is the key, the key into making it into heaven. Glory to God. We thank you, Lord. We can't count nobody out. We can't count nobody out because all souls matter. All souls matter. 
You never know who's going to repent and change and turn their life, life over to the Lord. So we continue to pray and we continue to seek God's face, even during the times of adversity, even during the times of, of a struggle, even during the times of a storm. We make sure that we look to the hills, we keep our eyes to the hill, which come of our help, our help coming from the Lord. So we got to make sure our eyes always stay on the Lord. It's very important to keep our eyes on the Lord yeah, because you'll fall if you don't keep your eyes on the Lord. You'll stumble if you don't keep your eyes on the Lord because he is the light that's trying to guide you out of darkness into his marvelous light. And you'll finally see once you finally see when you follow the light and keep your focus on the light, he will direct and guide your direct and guide your paths. That's why it's important to stay in the light. Because as soon as you fall out of the light, you'll fall back into darkness and you'll stumble. So it is important to follow the light because God is light. Glory to God. Follow him. Follow him out of the darkness. Glory to God. And that's how you're going to make it into the kingdom of heaven is by following the light. He wants you to follow the light. The more you follow the light, the more he'll take you out. Glory to God. But if, as long as you continue to be distracted by the things that's going on around you, you'll continue to stumble. And you'll continue to cause others to fall and stumble as well. Glory to God. See, that's, that's what happens. We have others fall and stumble because of our disobedience towards God. A lot of folks are disobedient. Disobedient, that's why they're going through the things that they're going through now. It's a time, it's a time and it's a place for everything. A time and a place and a season for everything under the sun. But whatever we do, we got to make sure that it's God. We got to make sure that it's the Lord and that it is the Lord that is ordering our steps. Because if God is not ordering your steps, then it's not from the Lord. It's from the devil. Glory to God. And if it's the devil, then you need to be delivered. Glory. Listen, listen. If it is the devil, you need to be delivered from that demon. You got a demon in you and you need to be, you need to be delivered. You got to make sure that it is God that is ordering your steps. Make sure that it's God that is telling you to do what you're doing. Because if it's not God, then it's not of God. Then it's darkness. And if it's darkness, then you need to step out of darkness and walk into his marvelous light. That's why we must keep our eyes focused on the Lord. Because he is the king of glory. He's the king of glory. And this, in these evil and dark times, he is the light. And you got to keep your eyes focused on the light of the Lord. Glory to God. So we don't fall, ladies and gentlemen. Keep your mind focused. Yeah, keep your mind focused. Yes, glory to God. Yes, ask the Lord to order your steps. Yeah, order. God, order my steps. Glory. Because if God don't order your steps, Satan will. There's only two people that's ordering your steps. Either it's God or Satan. Yes, Lord. And we thank God for the power of choice, choosing, free will. Thank God for that power. It's a wonderful power because you get to choose who you want to listen to. Rather, it's God or the devil. Yes, and when you listen to the devil, you'll do devilish things. When you listen to God, he'll order your stuff and he'll order your steps in all righteousness and all truth. Glory to God. So that's why I keep your eyes focused on the Lord so that you can hear him. Glory to God. Glory to God. It just dropped in my spirit. Don't let your pain sing you to hell. Yeah, don't let your pain sing you to hell. Don't let your guilt sing you to hell. Don't let anything that's dark, that comes to your thoughts, send you to hell. But stay in the light, and God will give you perfect peace. He'll give you perfect peace if you stay in the light. Yes, ain't that something? Whose mind that stays on the Lord, he'll give you perfect peace. So if you want perfect peace, your mind will stay on the Lord. Yes, Lord. But if you don't want perfect peace and you have a choice to choose, you don't have to want it. Then you have a troubled mind and the person with a troubled mind, you have a troubled mind. They're messy people. Messy people have a troubled mind. Messy people. You get caught up in a mess. You get caught up. See, eventually when you do dirt. Right. Eventually your day will come. Yeah. See, that's why it says the Bible states that a man. See, you reap, you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. So it's very important as man and woman of God, to stay focused on the Lord. Because if you don't stay focused on the Lord, you will fall over to God. You will get weak. 
But through your weakness, that's when you're strong. You see, when things happen and you're weak, that's when God gets all the glory out of it. That's why it's important to stay in the Lord and stay focused on God. Yeah, stay focused on Jesus. No matter what it looks like, stay focused on Jesus. He, if you believe his report, the Bible says that Jesus said that vengeance is his. If you believe that report, he said vengeance is his. If you don't believe in that report, then you'll do what you want to do. Not God, but you'll do what you want to do. But if you believe in the Lord's report, vengeance is his. To thus save the Lord, he will handle it. Glory to God. He also said he'll make your enemies your footstool. You got any enemies, he'll make them your footstool. He'll also prepare a table for you in the presence of thy enemies. So we bless the Lord for what he's doing and what he's going to do. But you must remain faithful yeah, because somebody is looking up to you. Yeah, and as leaders, we got to stay strong. Yeah, when I'm weak, you wouldn't know. Yeah, ain't that right? Because we, if, if I was weak, you wouldn't know. And I'm just keeping it real. You wouldn't know. That's between me and the Lord. Yeah, and the Lord is going to handle that. I'm going to prayer. Yes, Lord. But I'm going to be strong. In the midst of people, you got to be strong in the midst of people, especially those that are carrying titles and they hold on to those dearly. They hold on to their titles dearly, even in they sin, they hold on to their they hold on to their titles. Folks be sinning like crazy and they hold on to their title. They don't want to let go of those titles. Folks love their titles, but even with your title, you're dying, go to hell if you're not right with God. The Bible says, "Be ye holy, for I am holy." So I don't care how long you hold on to your title, you're dying, go to hell with your title. Yep, you'll be you you be an evangelist that's in hell. You'll be a pastor that's in hell. You'll be a bishop that's in hell. That's why you must stay focused. Be holy for him, for he is holy. Purify yourself even as he is pure. Now purify yourself and you die like that, then you're gonna go to hell. It's just as simple as that. Yeah, and I'm not putting you in hell, it's just a fact. Glory to God. This is these are things that send you to hell. See, that's why we preach against it. Yeah, that's why you got to make sure you're pure. You're pure inside. Can't just do what you want. The anointing doesn't. The anointing doesn't belong to you. It doesn't belong just because you're anointed. That belongs to God. I want y'all to hear this clearly. The anointing don't belong to none of y'all. The anointing belongs to God. The anointing is God. It belongs to Him. That's His anointing. He's holy. So what's coming out of you is not you. It's the Spirit. Because greater is he that lives in you than he that lives in the world. It's the spirit that lives in you. He's anointed. That's why you got anointed folks that could preach, that could pray, that could, you know, they cast out demons. You know, they, 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 you know, they doing things that look like God. But just because they, 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 they doing all that stuff doesn't mean they're going into heaven. Even with that, even with that, God can use anything. That's for anything or anybody that he chooses to use. Is his choice. He chooses who he wants to use. Glory to God. So that's why you die and still get cast into a lake of fire. And that's why during that great and terrible day, you say, Lord, dare not cast out demons in your name. Heal is sick. And the Lord is going to say, depart from me. See, this is what he's going to say. He's going to say, depart from me. This is what's going on now. If you look at the body of Christ, so much arguing and confusion amongst, amongst saints. That's why God is rebuking a lot of these so-called denominations rebuking them yeah because they allow anything and everything in it without speaking up you got to speak up against sin that's the only way somebody gonna come out is if you speak up against it yeah speak up against sin the bible says they have to see the unfruitful. you have no fellowship with the unfruitful workers of darkness but rather reprove them it's good to reprove them there's another scripture that says have no fellowship with the unfruitful workers of darkness but rather expose them is another thing so you expose the devil yeah and then he'll flee yeah resist him and he'll flee yeah glory to god so yeah you sock and also it's a scripture that says mark them that cause division especially those that's claiming to have the holy ghost not sinner not sinner but those that's claiming to be baptized filled holy ghost filled believers you baptize and you fill with the fire of god what are you doing that's causing all this division and confusion in the body of christ but I'm here to let you know they're all, and it's always going to be, and you please record this, if you, you know it's being recorded as it is, there's going to always be pimps in the church. There's going to always be whores. There's going to always be prostitutes. These are the things that's in the church. Glory to God. And one thing about a pimp, when he's pimping, right, 
the whores is going to always be drawn to him, right? The whores of the church. These are people that's claiming to be the whores, the pimps. These are men of God. There's really wolves in sheep clothing. And you're going to have your whores. And the whores is going, what does a whore do in the street? Always protect their pimp. Listen, this is truth talk right here. The whores is going to always protect their pimp. So the only people that's going to stick up for a demon, right? A demon or a wolf or whatever you want to call it. Or whores, prostitutes, and sugar coaters. These are the only people that's going to defend darkness. Anyone that defend darkness is not of the Lord. But God says, you see, any man that doesn't have his spirit is not of the, not of God. You're not of God. God don't even know you. So that's why you must be. And if any man had that spirit in him, the seed in him. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, any man that had that seed in him, he don't want to be a pimp. He don't want to be a whore. He don't want to be a prostitute. Yeah, he wants to serve God. He wants to live holy. And she wants to serve God and she wants to live holy. So it's our responsibility to live holy but you know past bias you know i'm gonna speak up i'm gonna talk i'm gonna, I, I expose darkness you already know how i am you know and i don't care you know because i'm not i don't do this for man i do this because i serve god i don't serve man I, you know i'm serving i'm a servant of the most high god to those that want to be served right but i'm here also to expose and tell people to repent for the kingdom of heaven heaven is at hand and anybody that don't want to receive it, you don't have to receive it. It's going to be somebody that's going to receive it and they're going to respect the message of God that comes from his true servants. Glory to God. Glory to God. But again, whores is going to protect their pimp. And pimps is going to protect their whores. And it's a mess. It's a mess in the body of Christ. That's why the Bible says the wheat and the tears grow together. Glory to God. All right? The wheat and the tears, they grow together in the church. The wheat is going to do what they're supposed to do. And the tares is going to do what they're supposed to do. The goats is going to do what they're supposed to do, which is the tares. And the sheep, which is the wheat, is they going to do what they're supposed to do. But it's your job, it's your job to stay focused on the Lord. It's your job. Because you're going to see stuff even as a sinner in the street. But it's your job to stay focused on God's word. And just because this type of stuff is going on in the church doesn't mean, right, that all folks are living that way. It doesn't mean that all folks are for this. It doesn't mean that all folks is a stumbling block because you going to have to choose. Yes, you got to choose this day who you want to serve. Glory to God. Who you truly serve. Do you serve man or do you serve God? If you serve God, you're going to stay focused on him. Because you know where the Lord has brought you from. That's why we praise him. That's why we sing to him. That's why we pray to him. And that's why we and that's why we sing to him. Glory to God. We praise him and we sing to him. Ain't that something? Because we love the Lord. Glory to God. And we give him praises, glory, and honor. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be reading from Psalms 147. Psalms 147, hallelujah. Psalms 147. It's going to be a very quick message on today because I had me ready to preach just a little while ago. I'm ready to just keep going. Psalms 147, 1 through 11. Psalms 147, verse 1 to 11. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. This message right here that God gonna have some pearls in it that's gonna help all those that need to be helped. Yes, glory to God. And it's gonna satisfy the souls of all those that need to be satisfied. Because we trust in the we trust in the word of the Lord. Glory to God. We trust in the word of the Lord. Glory to God. We thank you, Jesus. Psalms 147. 1 through 11, and we bless his holy name. And it says, praise ye the Lord, for it is good to sing praises unto our God. It's always good to sing, no matter if a devil tell you not to. No matter who criticizes your voice, sing unto the Lord. Yes, it's good, it's good. And it's, and it's a certain people. It says, praise ye the Lord. This is how you praise him. 
for it is good. It's, it's, it is a good thing. This is what folks need to get back into, just singing to the Lord. For it is a good thing, right, to sing praises unto our Lord. You should be singing praises unto the Lord. Then you wouldn't have no time for mess. Yeah, sing praises unto the Lord. You wouldn't have no time for gossip and slandering and murmuring and complaining. You wouldn't have no time to be living like a pimp or a prostitute or a whore. Yes, yeah, church whore. God delivers whores, those that sinners that come out. But you got whores that, that's in the church that know better. It's a difference. You got a whore that comes from the street that God delivers, and they're no longer a whore. And then you got you got you got whores that's in the church claiming to have the Holy Ghost. Right? The devil's a lie. You're not filled with the Spirit of God. You're filled with the devil. Yeah. And folks need to be told that you are filled with the devil. You need to be delivered and sit your butt down somewhere. You nothing but sin coming off you. Smell like sin coming right off you. Glory to God. But that's why I see those that's going to praise the Lord. They're going to praise the Lord and they're going to sing unto the Lord. And it is a good thing to sing to sing praises unto our God. For it is pleasant. And praise is comely. See, it's a beautiful thing to praise God. So see, and, 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 is it ple and it's pleasant. God sees it as pleasant. Yeah, he sees it as pleasant, right? It's a pleasantful thing to praise God and sing unto him. And also, you see, to, to see, and praise is comely. It is beautiful, which is comely, another word for comely. It is beautiful to praise God. Yeah, it is beautiful to praise him. Yeah, magnify him and lift him up. Yeah, especially all those of us that been through something. See, if you want to shake off that spirit of heaviness, praise him. Yeah, praise him. You, you, you. God will change your whole atmosphere by praising him. Glory to God. Sing unto the Lord. It is a good thing to sing unto the Lord. A very good thing to sing unto the Lord. Ain't that something? So we give him praises, glory, and honor because we are going to praise the Lord. It also says that the Lord do have build up Jerusalem. He gathered together the outcasts of Israel. See, God, see, God, what God does, he builds up the church. See? I want you to understand that. See, God jobs, he, this is what one of his jobs, one of his characteristics is building up the church. Who's the church? You. God gonna build you up. See, this, this is why you this is what's very important in the body. Or folks that's coming into the Lord, you need to know that God wants to build you up. He don't want you to stay the same. He wants you to build you up up if you was a homosexual he wants to build you up if you a masturbator he wants to build you up if you a whore he wants to build you up yeah you pimp he wants to build you up a prostitute he wants to build you up whatever you are god wants to build you up if you're a drunkard god wants to build you up hey that's not yes glory to god so that you could sing to him truly yeah give him praises for real not fake praise but real praise you could praise him for what he has done glory to god the Lord do a build up Jerusalem, which is a church. He gathered together the outcasts of Israel. See, all those as outcasts, all those that some of us, we even look down on. We look down on them. God calls them outcasts. He brings them out from being an outcast. God loves the outcasts. God loves the ones that folks look down on. God loves the poor, the brokenhearted, those that are lonely and depressed and oppressed and that's going through something. God loves those type. Those are God's people. Yeah, believe it or not. The ones that don't have none, they might not even have their mind or clothes. God wants those type. Those the type that God is looking for. Yeah, God is not looking for you to all those, all you big shots, all you high ballers, shot callers. God ain't God ain't involved with all that. Yeah, you know what I mean. All you pimps and and church whores and prostitutes. Yeah, God ain't God ain't into that. Yeah, ain't that son? Yeah, but our Lord, He builds up. He builds up the church. And he gathers together the outcasts of Israel. This is what he do. He gathers them. He gathers all his people up. Ain't that something? Hey, Lord, the Lord have mercy. He gathers us all up, all together. That's why I said, my sheep hear my voice. And he said, I know them and they'll follow. God's people are going to follow because they love the Lord. And they know that the Lord is faithful. And they know that the Lord is holy. And they know what the Lord has done for them. So they sing praises unto the Lord. Yeah, they sing. And they know it's good because it's good to sing praises unto our God. And it is pleasant to sing praises unto our Lord. And it is beautiful to sing praises unto our Lord. And the Lord do build up Jerusalem and he gathered together the outcasts. All the folks that we look down on. All the folks that we reject and neglect. 
are the ones that God is capturing right now. Those are the ones God is putting his arms around and he's protecting them. While all you big shots is on your way to hell. A lot of bishops is already in hell. Yeah. A lot of sugar coders is already in hell. He spit you out of his mouth. Yeah. A lot of pimps and prostitutes that's in the church and whores, you're already, you're already damned, most likely in doomed. Because God said he had turned you over to a strong delusion that you'll believe a lie. So to even say you have the Holy Ghost and live in that way, and look, I'm here to tell you, Pastor Bob, you're living a lie. Scary. And that's why he turns them over to a reprobate mind. You got a lot of folks that's in the church that's reprobate. And anybody that install or ordain these messy people are reprobate. See? Reprobate minds. So the only person that can take you out of a reprobate step mind, step mindset is God. Right? Is the only one that can take you out. If he puts you in, he put you, he turned you over to a strong delusion that you will believe a lie. You know what I'm so you believe in a lie. That's why, see, any man that say they had the Holy Ghost and living like a demon, right? Any woman that 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 that, that, that says they're a woman of God and say they have the Holy Ghost, but living like a demon, that's a lie. That's not God. That's not holy. That's not righteous. That's not comely. Yeah, that's not beautiful. Nothing is beautiful about that. That is a delusion. This is what the church is stuck in now. There's the, 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 the fallen away church, those that are high and mighty, right? That's not allowing the Lord to build them up. The ones that's not allowing the Lord to build them up, they're living a delusion. Yeah, it's a delusion. Hey, anybody, you got a church building? That's a delusion. That's not God. That's Satan. Man, we call it as it is. Satan said, your father is the devil. You think Jesus is going to take that back? <laughs> he said, that's what your father is. And it's the same thing that's going on now in the churches. And I'm here to rebuke it and let people know. Your father is the devil. It ain't God. It ain't my God. You don't say the same God I serve. Yeah. You don't say to serve God upon this right ministry, sir. Yeah. And all the other ministries that live holy and that want to live holy. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Because the Lord, like it says in number two, the Lord do build up Jerusalem. He builds up the church. He building you up. You're not going backwards. If you are a true child of God, you are a new creation. You are a new creature. You're walking in the newness of life. And glory to God. Yeah, that's what you're walking in. Not the same old you. The people are the same old them, just with a title. <laughs> in the church. Glory to God. The same old them in the church. Singing, preaching, speaking in tongues. And all these demons are following these demons. Right? right into hell. How could the blind, glory to God, lead the blind? Lord, help us. How? How could you? Because God will call you out of the mess. That's why he said, my sheep, hear my voice. This is, this is, I can't say this. I said it so much. And he said, I know them and they'll follow. So even if you're under a strong delusion and following something like that, God is sending you a strong delusion. That's who sends you the strong delusion to follow that mess. And if God calls you out, right? If, it's a big if. If he calls you out and you come, that's a blessing. You left the abomination. But anybody, the Bible states, anybody, listen, listen, this is what the Bible is stating, that even agree to this mess is damned, hell bound. So some things we can't even agree with, <laughs> ain't that so? Or some things we can't even stand on, glory to God, hallelujah. But we stand for holiness, yeah, that's what we stand for. If we're going to stand with something, we stand for holiness. If we're going to stand for something, we're going to stand for righteousness. That's why the Bible says you can tell them by their fruits. And a lot of fruits come out lately. You can tell them by their fruits. You can tell who's filled with the devil and who's filled with God. Mm -mm. All you got to do is test his spirit. Mm. Jesus was the most lovable character ever mm. on the face of this earth. But as soon as he found out that them wolves were selling in his house, Jesus whipped them out of the church. <laughs> Glory to God. He's still lovable. He's still God. God says expose them. 
But the Bible says, have no fellowship with the unfruitful workers of darkness, glory to God, but rather expose them, expose anybody like Jesus did, expose them. That's not living holy, especially, especially if they're claiming to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, Lord, those are the most dangerous people. Those that say they're filled with the spirit, but live like a demon deliberately or the worst ones. You call them by their names to help me, God, and don't let nobody stop you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord do a build up Jerusalem. He gathered together the outcasts of Israel. The Bible says he healed the broken in heart. This is what God does. He heals those that are broken in the heart. And he bind up their wounds, whatever wound that they have. Because some people are hurt. Their heart is broken. God is talking to those that have a broken heart today. Right? That have been deceived or lied to by their demon. Yeah, by that demon. By their leader, by their, by their, whoever, their spiritual father that they call them and all this other crazy stuff. And your bishop, whoever, whoever it is, whoever was the demon, right? God is ready to bind. He's ready to bind up your wounds. Glory to God. He's ready to heal that broken heart. God knows your heart is broken. Oh, yeah, because leaders, right, as leaders, we should know better. Yeah, we might fall short sometime. You get back up in repentance if you're a true man of God and woman of God, but you don't stay there. You don't stay in the act. You are, the devil is a liar. You don't stay sinning. You get up as fast as you can because you know God is a, he's a consuming ball of fire. How dare you live in sin? How are you a pastor still sleeping with men? How are you a pastor sleeping with all the women in the congregation? How you a pastor and you living like a demon? How you a pastor and you you lying and still? How you a pastor and you corrupt? How you a pastor? How you call yourself a man of God and you're living like a devil? Satan, the Lord rebuke you. It's impossible. It's impossible. Glory to God. But all the hearts that you have broken, God is going to heal up the broken hearts. And he's going to bind up their wounds. Mm, ain't that something? going to bind up their wounds. He's going to fix all of them that you have broken down. Mm -hmm. And he tell up the numbers of the stars. He called them all by their names. Our God is mighty that every star that's in the heavens, God knows them and he, they have a name. Every star have a name because God has named them. He calls them by their names. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, great is our Lord and of great power. His understanding is in infinite. God's understanding is infinite. That's why I always tell you folks that God's ways is not your ways. And your ways is not his. Yeah, so whatever God is doing, he's doing it. Because he's God. Yeah, And everything that's happening now, it is because of God. God is the one that allows the exposure. You'll be doing your dirt long enough. Now it's time to be exposed, you devil. Yeah. Yeah, you've been doing your demonic acts long enough. Now it's time for you to be exposed. Yeah. So that somebody else might not get hurt. Yes, glory to God. Because of your actions, how many hearts and souls are you going to destroy? Mm -mm. God has said he's going to chop you down from the root. Mm, this is just the beginning. Ooh, the beginning of the sorrows for all those that play with God. Because God is sick and tired of a church, lukewarm church that's playing church. But God is calling those out of darkness into his marvelous light that truly want to be saved, that truly want to be sanctified, that truly want to walk in righteousness because he is righteous. And we thank God for all those that God is calling out because he's calling out an army, true army, true army of the Lord that ain't afraid to speak ooh, like John. Baptist who ain't afraid to walk like Paul. Woo! Ain't scared like Peter that's ready to bind and rebuke the devil. Ain't that son? So the Lord is going to have his way no matter what the lukewarm church say. And we're going to praise him and we're going to sing unto him and we're going to glorify him because we know that the Lord is going to heal the broken heart. He's going to bind up all their wounds. 
We know that our Lord is great and he is of great power. And we know that his understanding is infinite and has no limits. It's something that you can't even explain. A human mind can't even explain infinite. But only our Lord knows what that is. So he gives you everlasting life so that you can get to understand some of the infinite power of God. Ain't that something? Yeah, you need everlasting life to even get to know God, to get to really truly know him. You need everlasting life. Ain't that something? And the Lord, he lifts up the meek. All those that are meek, he'll lift them up. And he'll cast the wicked down to the ground. See, every wicked person, no matter who you are, you will be cast down to the ground. It is mandatory. You can't box your arms. It's too short to box with God. You will get knocked out. You will get knocked out. Okay, who you is. I don't care how big you are here on this earth. You ain't nothing but grass. You ain't nothing but grasshoppers compared to the Lord. But God will lift up the meek. And he'll cast down the wicked to the ground. Every wicked person is going to be cast down to the ground. You will fall. Glory to God. But messing with God's people was <laughs> well, a terrible thing to fall in the hands of an angry God. Oh, Lord, tell me. I know, I know. It's a, huh, it is a terrible thing to fall in the hands of an angry God. Oh, some of us fell in the hands of an angry God. See, when God is angry with you, he exposes you. Oh, Lord, have mercy. That's what happened when he get angry. But thank God doing that exposure. He didn't kill you in your sin. Yeah, he didn't kill you. Because even those that he's exposing, right? If they hear God, if, 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 there's always an if. If you hear God, they can still be delivered. Lord, have mercy. God could take them out of that strong delusion that they're in. They believe in a lie now, but God could take them out of that strong delusion and set them free. Glory to God. Woo, God, because you didn't die there. See, you, you didn't die there, right? He just said, God, in his mercy and his grace, you didn't die there. So thank God for the exposing. Oh, thank God for the exposing. Every time God has exposed my life, I thank God for it. Because if he never exposed me, I would have kept going. I would have kept doing. I would have got worse and worse in a state of darkness. But thank God for the judgment and the exposing of God. Because it's what changes some people. Oh, hallelujah. And the Lord will lift up the meek. See, you that are meek, huh? He had cast down the wicked. See, only see the Lord, he lifts up the meek and he cast down the wicked. The wicked, see, wicked folks don't get cast down. But those that the Lord loves, he's going to lift them up. Because that's what our Lord do. And then after the Lord lift you, lift you up with your meek self, you sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Oh, with thanksgiving. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. We sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. We sing praises upon the harp unto our God. Oh, Lord, this is what we do. We See, once you truly love God, you're going to sing unto him. You're going to praise him. This is what the church need to go back to. Singing and praising God. Yes, glory to God. Who covers, see the Lord, he covers the heavens with clouds. He prepared rain for the earth who make of grass to grow upon the mountains. Oh, Lord, have mercy. He giveth to the beast his food. God supplies the food even for the beasts of the field. And to the young ravens which cry. Oh, even those that cry, the ravens that cry. Oh, God, if God supplies the food for the beasts in the field, and he even supplies food for the ravens that cry. Just imagine how much more the Lord will supply your needs. Oh, Lord, how much more will the Lord supply your needs? Oh, God, help us. Oh, Lord, that's the part I thank God for. He supplies all blood. He'll, he'll make sure you have a shelter. He'll make sure that you're filled with his spirit. 
God will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. And he delighteth not. And this is a thing God don't delight in. Man, man, make, think, make it seem like he delights in this stuff. He don't delight in the strength of a horse. Right? God don't delight in that because the horse is strong. He take up not pleasure in the legs of a man. God is not pleased at a man's legs are where they're going. A lot of men seem like they have strength and power. So what? He's a he's a he's an officer. So what? He's a man of God. So what? He has a mansion. So what? He got many cars. So what? They got this and they got that. God is not pleased with that. That stuff mean nothing. Natural things mean absolutely nothing to God. Hmm, glory to God. Ain't that so? Natural things don't mean nothing to God. Because God is more concerned about your spirit. He's more concerned about your soul. He's a God of riches. Why would he be concerned about the power of a horse? Or taking, he take not pleasure. Or what, what would he care about a man's leg? Right? The things that he do with his legs. He got everything he did because he worked hard to man. But that doesn't please the Lord. That type of things don't please God. But the world, the world look at those things. See, the world looks at those things. Because the world love their own. The world of, of folks that's lukewarm, sinners. Yeah, yeah, sinners, lukewarm folks, sugar coaters. Yeah, this is the world. They love worldly things. That's why they preach worldly things to your spirit and to your soul. Because they know that you love it. And the world will love their own. You become popular in the world because you preach into the world instead of preaching to their soul. You know, Pastor Bias, I'm going to preach to your soul. Because I love you. Yeah. And all the saints of God that truly love Jesus is going to preach to your soul where a conviction is going to set in and you're going to change and you're going to repent yeah, so that you can live holy. Glory to God. But he delighteth not in the strength of the horse. He taketh not pleasure in the legs of a man. But look what look at this. Look at number 11. We're closing out with number 11. Check this out. The Lord taketh pleasure in them that fear him. Oh! This is where the pleasure come in. Lord have mercy. The pleasure comes in. To, comes in. God pleases. He's pleased with those that fear him. Glory to God. The beginning of wisdom is to fear God. Those that honor the Lord. Those that respect him. Those that reverence the Lord. Those or those those are those that truly fear God. You fear God by living obedient. When the storm come, you're obedient. When the floods rise, you fear them. When things happen, you fear them. Before you do it, you're fear them. Before you step out, you're fear them. Before you go to the right, you're firm. Before you go to the left, you're firm. Before you speak, you're firm. Before you rebuke, you're firm. You'll do everything in the fear of God. Because <laughs> the Lord taking pleasure in them that fear him. Oh Lord, have mercy. This is what we this is where the church need to get back to. Fearing God. Even after all this, even after all the singing and praises unto the Lord, God is pleased with those that, those that fear. Oh, Lord, not those that's living like a devil, because when you live like a devil and you live like a demon, it just shows that you don't fear God. It just shows that you're taking advantage of the grace of God. It just shows that you're not concerned about the mercy of God. But if you cared about God's mercy, grace, and his forgiveness towards you, you will stop living like a devil and turn from your wicked ways so that God can hear your prayers. God said your prayers are even an abomination. 
You got folks praying and they still living in sin. The devil is a liar. God don't hear your prayer. You got a devil in you. You need to be freed and set freed and delivered from that adversary that's living in your demonic heart. God don't hear the prayers of the wicked. God don't hear the prayers of the ungodly. God lifts up the weak. God puts the weak on the rock. God has sanctified those that confess. God ordered the steps of the righteous. That's why it says a righteous man. The prayers of a righteous man. Let me say this again. The prayers of a righteous man. A bell of much. If you're not righteous, God don't hear you. Lord have mercy. The church need to know this. If you're not walking in obedience, God don't hear you. If you're not repenting and confessing thy sins to the Lord, God don't hear you. But he that worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth. A lot of y'all living a lie. You're not in spirit and you're not in the truth. A lot of you got your demon possessed. Not a church, I want you to understand this. A lot of church folks that claim to have the Holy Ghost are actually demon possessed, especially if they're living like a demon. You live like a demon, right? So if you're living like a demon, you're demon possessed. And the demon need to be cast out. But those that really truly fear God are filled. These are the folks that are filled with the Spirit of God. Truly filled with the spirit of God. They hate sin and they love righteousness. Glory to God. That's why the Bible says, the Bible says, the Bible says your father, you said the fa your father is the devil. Ain't that right? And it says the seed is in him, it was talking about righteous folks, and he cannot sin. When that sin, when that seed is in you, you don't want to live like no devil. You'll be convicted every time you mess up. You'll be godly sorry every time you think wrong. Your thoughts must be pure. Even the way you think will send you to hell. That's why the Bible says pull down strongholds and cast down imagination. Y'all learn how to do that, ladies and gentlemen. Pull down the strongholds, cast down imagination. Pull them down. Pull down strongholds, cast down imagination. No, oh, glory to God. If your left eye offends you, pluck it out. It's better to have one eye and to make it into the kingdom of God than to die and have both eyes. If your left hand is offending thee, cut your left hand off. It's better to make it into the kingdom of heaven with one arm than to have both arms and be cast hands first into the bottomless pit. God, I pray that we repent and get it right with God. Because it's always an opportunity. This is what's so special about God's mercy. To repent. If you hear this, God is still giving you the opportunity. That's his love. And if you still live it, this is the part that really touches me. If you are still living, you still have the opportunity to repent. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Glory to God. He loves you that much that he even, even the dirtiest cynical. We don't want to see nobody. I don't care how much of a devil they live in life, how bad of a demon they live in life. We still pray and hope that they repent and get their life right with God. Truly, so that they can make it in. Because the Bible says, see, follow peace. This is what we need to follow. Peace with all men. And you follow peace by praying for them. Don't have no grudges in your heart. Don't hold on to bitterness. And don't hold on to unforgiveness. It will kill you. It will kill you. It will kill you. But God is saying, let it go and let God. Let it go. And let God. And it says, in those that hope in his mercy, we thank the Lord for his mercy. We hope in his mercy. And we thank you. And we praise you, God. And we forever give you all the glory, all the praises, and all the honor. In Jesus' name. Amen. I thank God for you all. I thank God for you all. All is a blessing. Is a blessing. It's a blessing on today. Make sure you share it like this. Make sure you share and like this and share this. Glory to God. Make sure you share and like it. Glory to God. Oh, God, I see you, Ruby Bias. God bless you, Ruby Bias, wonderful woman of God. We love you over here. Glory to God. Oh, Victoria, I see you. God bless you. Victoria, Victoria Aquino. God bless you. We love you over here. Oh, I see you, my beautiful wife. We love you. Yolanda Bedell, we love you. God bless you all. I'm seeing those comments now. Glory to God. 
Oh, PJ and Ace, we love you. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to pray some music and praise the Lord. You know, this is about singing and praising God and what we should do to live holy and how we should fear him. Glory to God. Glory to God. We thank you, Lord, for repentance. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Yes, we stand for holiness. We stand for righteousness. We stand for truth. God is a just God. He's a just God. Thank you, Lord. He's a just God. He's a holy God. Yes, Lord. He's a holy God and he's just. He judges righteously. Yes, Lord. No favoritism. Mm -mm. God, help me. Even I repent if I even have favoritism. Glory, help me, Lord Jesus. Help us all in the body so that we may make it. Let, us eyes, let our eyes stay focused on the hills. That's where help is going to come from. Not going to come from man. Man can't help you in this situation. Only God can. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Only God can help us. Only God can help us. Yeah, keep the faith. Keep the faith, ladies and gentlemen. These words right here is deep. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord, for all y'all that tuned in. I thank God that got all these eyes tuned in to me. Little old me. Thank you, Lord. Uh, you already know Pastor Bias is going to preach. He's going to preach holiness. Yeah, I'm going to preach holiness. I'm not going to just preach it. I'm going to live it. No matter what devils and demons say, I'm going to serve the Lord. Glory to God. I'm going to serve the Lord. And I plan on serving him all the days of my life. Oh, yes. I plan on. God bless you, Terry Ann McLean. God bless you, woman of God. Oh, hallelujah. Vengeance, London Bias. God bless you. My brother BJ Kennedy. God bless you, my brother. Wonderful man of God right there. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I love you all dearly. We, we all we got, actually. The saints is all we got, especially the brothers and sisters in the Christ, body of Christ. We need to encourage each other. Encourage one another. Yes, glory to God. Pray for one another. This world is getting worse day by day. Evil man is seduces wax worse day by day. This deepening being deceived. Every day is getting worse. The devil is lining up his people, and God is lining up his people. Choose you this day who you're going to serve. Glory to God. Glory to the glory to God. Choose you this day. Yes, Lord, we bless his holy name. God bless you, my brother Stacy. Wonderful man right there. God bless you, Stacy. The beautiful family that he has. God bless my man, Stacy. We definitely sticking. We definitely sticking with our sister Ruby Bias. God bless her. We keep up. We keep on prayer. We'll keep all the brothers and sisters that's in prayer. God is faithful. He's gonna restore and rehear. Glory to God. We all fall short. Sometimes I fell short. Glory to God. I'm not afraid to say it. I'm not afraid to say it. I fell short many a time. Glory to God. But God will lift you up. Those that are meek. Glory to God. You repent and turn back to the Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, for repentance. Victory belongs to the Lord. Yes, Lord. Keep the faith, y'all. Keep the faith. Keep the faith. Glory. My brother William Tugwell, glory to God. God bless you, my brother. I miss you, my brother. That's a singing brother and a preaching brother right there. I miss him. Glory to God. God bless you, Willem Tugwell. We're going to love the Lord forever. Hallelujah. And so we sing unto the Lord and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Tonya Blizzard, a wonderful woman of God. God bless you. Wonderful woman of God. Oh, man, I glory to God. We love Tonya Blizzard so much. Oh, what's good, my brother? William Tug, what's good, my brother? God bless you. Such a wonderful, mighty man of God right there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Yes, Lord. He's such an encouragement in the body of Christ. Brothers like him and Stephen Dutch, we thank God for them because, you know, you got brothers out there, man, it's encouragement to, to show you and to guide you in all truth and righteousness, especially about evangelizing. Thank you, Lord. Make us brothers step out. Made me step out from the four corners of the wall. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, God, for delivering me. Yes, Lord. He that wins souls is wise. Yes, Lord. Keep the faith. Oh, Lord, keep it. Glory to God. We need to sing more unto the Lord. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Keep the faith. Glory to God. I love you all. God bless you all. I pray you all have a wonderful and blessed day. I love you all. God bless you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is faithful to us. Oh, God, we bless his holy name. Yeah, he ain't missing my Savior. <laughs> Glory to God. I, I just heard you, my man, the man of God. It was wonderful. Hallelujah. I said, Craig, how you doing? God bless you. God bless you. I love you all. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I just want to make it in. I just want to make it in. Hallelujah. I got me ready to stay. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Oh, glory to God. Stacy, yeah, prayers for my let me see. Prayers for my niece, Lily in North Carolina, who is in ICU fighting that wicked COVID-19. Oh God, we pray right now. Oh God. In the name of Jesus for your niece, oh God. We pray that the that the Lord touch her, God. We pray right now, God, in the name of Jesus, that he go by her bedside, even in ICU. Oh, God, we pray right now, God, that he touch her body. In the name of Jesus, God, we pray and we bind and rebuke that COVID-19 in the name of Jesus. God, we pray for strength. Oh, God, we pray for healing. We pray for a miracle right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we know that you could do it in the name of Jesus. God, we look to you. We look to the hills. We look We look to the hills was coming of our help. Oh, God, we know our help coming from you. Protect your people, God, in the name of Jesus. Strengthen your people right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Touch your people right now, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we look to you. Oh, God, we don't look to man, but we look to you because we know, God, that you are the author and finisher of our faith. God, let your will be done right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Touch his family, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you. God, we bless you and we lift you up. We give you all the praises, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, hallelujah, glory to God, amen. Glory to God. In Jesus' name, God, we thank you. God, we thank you because God is a healer. He's a healer. He's a deliverer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, touch right now. Set free right now, God, in the name of Jesus. God, we love you. God, we love you. Oh, God, when we thank you. Oh, God, we thank you. God bless you all. God bless you all. God, glory to God. God bless you all. God bless you all. Hallelujah.